Hey, welcome to 5-Minute Book Reviews. Today I'm reviewing this book, Elephant Company, by Vicki Constantine Croak. Excellent little book, 343 pages, published in 2014 by Random House Publishing. You know, I found one of the best places to get good books, aside from places like, um, you know, the Half Price Bookstore or whatever, is to go to your local library. They're always having book sales. Um, I especially am fond of going to this little uh, library uh, near my hometown where I live and they have a book sale that's like ongoing year round. They've got a big table set up out in the front foyer and I get down there about once a week because I have students that I meet with down at the library. Gives me a great opportunity to look through all the books that the library has decided to sell or that people have brought in because they want to sell the books. I get a lot of great stuff there. Um, paperbacks, 50 cents, hardbacks for a buck, books on CD for 50 cents. I uh, can't go wrong with that. And frankly, if that is wrong, I don't want to be right. Anyhow, I picked up this book called Elephant Company by Vicki Constantine Croak. 50 cents. I'm glad I did. Uh, I love reading stories about people from the 1930s and 40s, the trials and travails of those men and women who lived and suffered and fought and served and loved and, and died uh, during you know the World War II years. <laughs> We're blessed, I think, that we have people like Vicki Constantine Croak, who, you know, tell us these stories and write these stories for us, uh, preserve their, their legacies in paper and ink so that other generations can be inspired by the work that they did. Elephant Company tells the story of Billy Williams, who uh, also was affectionately known as uh, Elephant Bill, who began a rather simple career, I say simple, as a teak man in Burma. He moved up the company ranks. He created a school for elephants. He learned to speak Burmese, he got married, he smoked a lot of cigarettes, drank a lot of alcohol, spent a lot of time uh, in the jungle uh, chasing around elephants, uh, doing all the things that a teak man had to do. I don't want to spoil it all for you, but it, truly in, in a real sense, this, this man was a hero. Um, just because these are five minutes, I want to tell you what I liked, what I disliked about the book. Very simply, I felt like I wanted a couple more pictures in the book. It's illustrated, lots of good stuff going there. I just felt like there were a couple places where I could have used a little bit more um, information, uh, you know, to about specific aspects of the story, especially perhaps the part where they were, uh, Williams and his crew were building a, a stairway for elephants up the side of a mountain. Um, it's not a deal breaker. It doesn't change my uh, affection for the book. Just might have helped to clarify a couple of concepts. What I really loved about the book is that the author tells us another story about a human being um, who was in the right place at the right time. Um, the cover of the paperback that I have, uh, you can see they put this little blurb right up there at the beginning, and it says, the uh, inspiring story of an unlikely hero and the animals who helped him save lives in World War II. And... I, I kind of, I don't know, I kind of feel like that's just the whole thing about it. My point's that every hero is unlikely in the sense that no one really sets about to be a hero when they set out to do whatever it is they set out to do. It's almost kind of redundant to say unlikely hero. Williams certainly didn't set out to be a hero. I don't, I don't think that I came away with that idea. I think he wanted things that most people want out of life. You know, he wanted a career, some adventure, perhaps a family. He wanted to maybe contribute something meaningful to the world. Um, he happened to choose Burma in the 1930s and 1940s, and that's where he decided to make a go of it. What he ended up getting um, was sweltering heat, monsoons, malaria, leeches, ulcers, uh, ulcers, uh, tigers. Eventually, he got World War II. Um, my point is that it could be that heroes, all heroes, are always heroes right where they are precisely because that's where they are. Maybe it's not an accident or maybe it's not as unlikely as it might seem at first glance. Maybe Elephant Bill was a hero because he was a hero. Five stars out of five stars. Check out my, oh, also wanted to say, look, if you like tales about World War II, if you like tales about adventure, throw in a little bit of romance, throw in a little bit of malaria, throw in a little bit of a, an elephant uh, smashing somebody to the ground. Great story for you to read. It's fast paced. It's well written. Um, I, I don't think that there's a lot of, you know, politics involved in this book. It's got end notes. It's got an index. It's illustrated. Elephants, romance, war, 
hard drinking, traveling up on a river, jungles. What more could you want out of a book? Check it out. Read it. Vicki Constantine Croak. Five stars out of five stars. Check out my Goodreads page. Subscribe to 5-Minute Book Reviews. Next time we get together, I'm going to review this book for you, The Sound of a Wild Snail Eating, written by Elizabeth Toba, Toba Bailey. You're going to like this one, too. I look forward to seeing you back here next time. Bye.